Hey there, everybody. Welcome to part two in my video series about the Axe FX3 Fender models. If you haven't watched part one, go and watch that because I basically break down how I'm going to approach all of these videos. Essentially, it's going to be by error of amplifier. So we're going to start with the Tweed series. I'm playing this Warmoth Parts Caster, which has some Jason Lola vintage Telecaster style pickups in it, which I thought was appropriate for this particular video. So let's start with amp model number one in the Axe FX3, the 5F1 Tweed. With Fender amps, essentially the like something like 5F1 refers to the catalog model number. So 5F1 was the little champ, which had an eight inch speaker and one control for volume. So if we wanna cop that vibe on the Axe FX3, there are some one by eight IRs based around this EC Champlifier. I've just gone with a 57 shot. All I'm gonna do in the preamp section is set the low cut to 80 Hertz and it sounds pretty darn good at the stock setting. So these little champs are really notorious for sort of being really farty in the low end. So what I would recommend, if you want a nice kind of gritty clean sound, start with the input drive around four. Basically the only control that we're gonna use if we wanna be accurate is the input drive. So on the bridge pickup on my telly, this is what that sounds like. <laughs> And on the neck pickup. So it's a pretty neutral kind of clean sound. It doesn't start to get gritty until you get it up around six. So as you can hear, like with the input drive on 10, it doesn't really get saturated. You just get this kind of really ganky breakup ha happening. Um, on the real amp, obviously, you know, a low powered eight inch speaker is gonna break up quite a bit. So if you wanna cop some of that, go to the amp block, go to speaker drive, and basically turn the speaker drive up. So if you want the sound of your amp exploding, uh, at around halfway, you get this. <laughs> and turn up the speaker compression as well. It gets super squishy. And if you turn the speaker drive all the way up, it essentially sounds like you've cut the cone on the speaker and you can kind of get that kinks. You really got me kind of sound, you know, a small amp with a slashed speaker cone. <laughs> So yeah, if you want the sound of a small champ blowing up, do those things. Otherwise, at the stock settings, it sounds okay. I mean, it sounds like a small amp. I find that on the three, what I like to do is actually use different speakers with this little amp. And I think it probably sounds a lot more usable in kind of like a modern context. Say with the drive around seven, uh, you can obviously use the three band EQ, which isn't accurate on, uh, you know, it's not accurate to the real amplifier, but it does sound pretty cool. <laughs> And that to me sounds a lot more usable, changing the speaker cabinet to a bigger speaker as well. Say we went to like a 12 inch speaker. Uh, there's plenty of 12 inch speaker IRs in here. Let's say we go, oh, 
Look at this giant menu of speaker IRs. Let's go with this 1x12 Deluxe Alnico by Ownhammer. Sounds like this. And that to me, while it may not be quite as accurate as a real amp, I think it sounds really good and it's a really usable, clean sound. As an aside, what I should have talked about at the start of this video as well is this concept of the Fender Magic 6 settings. I've talked about this before, and uh, when I posted my original video, a few people brought it up. Uh, essentially, there's this sort of rule of thumb with Fender amplifiers where you do this, if you want a starting point, for your Fender amp. And I think this is why I never really got on with real world Fender amplifiers because I always tried to set them like Marshalls, like with you know the bass a bit higher and the mids pushed and that kind of thing, and the treble backed off. So you do this, this is a magic six thing. Uh, with the EQ, set the bass to two, set the bass to three, uh, the middle to three and set the treble to six and then set the input drive to six. And on most Fender amps, this is a great starting point for your clean sound. And you can essentially just tweak it from there. So rather than all knobs at noon and tweak, uh, try this. I'll set the input trim to one as well. I don't know why I moved that. So have a listen to this. This is on the neck pickup. And it sounds really nice and clean and balanced. So yeah, that's an aside. That's the Fender Magic 6 settings. Uh, I'll put a little timestamp in the video description and uh, mention this in the title of the video as well. So Fender Magic 6 is kind of the way to go. Um, back on topic with these amps though. So that is the Little Champ, there is also an Eric Clapton signature model Champ, which I've put here on scene two. So essentially the same thing, uh, it's just got a slightly different voicing. So with all the knobs at noon, and of course that is with that same IR. If I go back to, oh, that's not with the same IR, that is a totally different one. Let's go with this, where were we? Channel B, okay. So let's go back to one of those tweed IRs. Let's, what do I have? Here we go. So this is what it sounds like at the stock settings. So it's a little bit nastier and it overdrives a little bit quicker. Uh, have a listen to that compared to just the stock tweed. I actually really prefer this model when it comes to sort of gain sounds. Again, if we sort of do the Magic 6 thing with it, it's going to sound it's going to sound a bit grittier and a bit gnarlier, basically. So uh, that's more or less Magic 6 for this amp. Apparently this was like the Layla amp, so that's a pretty cool, if you want to cop that kind of uh, tone, definitely go for the, this EC tweed, I think, just because it breaks up a little bit better. And uh, yeah, I, I can't remember how to play that riff properly or the rest of the chord, so let's move on. Uh, on scene three here, this is, I mean, this model number looks similar, right? It says 5F8 tweed, so is it another small amp? It's quite the opposite. This is based around a tweed twin, a high-powered tweed twin. I was watching a video uh, the other day with Joe Bonamassa where at one stage he was using, he's like, I think he's using two of these. He's got a signature model tweed twin and like two Dumble amps or something like that. And it's just, it sounds, you know, amazing. But I believe this particular tweed amp is a model of Keith Urban's personal amp, which is like one of the most expensive vintage amplifiers ever, right? So let's magic six it and we'll have a listen to how it sounds and we can tweak it from there. I'm gonna choose an appropriate IR for this one, I think. Uh, you can go for, basically, you know, with these guys, what I would do is just say, type tweed into the cabinet search <laughs> and have a look at all of this. So there's a couple of tweed deluxe IRs. There's these uh, tweed verbs, USA tweed 57. Let's go with this MLIR, but I'm gonna go for a 121. So let's start with that one. And this is what it sounds like at the vaunted Magic 6 settings. Uh, the real tweed twins do have EQ on them, unlike the champ. So yeah, this should sound pretty awesome. <laughs> So 
So that is with a 121 IR. What I'm going to do is mix in a bit of a 57, probably from the same cab because it'll probably be in phase that way. And what I'll do is I will back off the 121 the way you would mix these two microphones in the real world. <laughs> So to me, that sounds, with this particular IR, sounds a little bit bass heavy and it sounds like it needs some more mids. So what I will do is turn the mid range and the treble up with this guy. Have a listen to that. This one sounds awesome. This is like not what I would expect from a Fender style amp, right? It almost sounds a little bit more like a Marshall. Um, what you can do is go to the preamp section and hit the front end with a T808 boost. Sounds like this. <laughs> It's so crunchy, but it's so smooth, which I really, really like about this. You know, it, it sort of lacks the fizz that something like a Marshall Plexi would have. Uh, but yeah, that is a 5F8 Tweed Twin. If you don't want to use it for overdrive, turn the input boost off. And let's turn the input drive down because this one sounds amazing on the neck pickup for clean stuff. <laughs> is a beautiful thing, believe me. Um, yeah, the 5 F8 Tweed has to be in my top five or six Fender models in the Axe FX3. Uh, like I said, you can. It, this is pretty much like one of the best pedal platforms in the unit as well, if you like using the various drive models. And um, I'm sure Joe Bonamassa's settings are out there somewhere and you can go and watch those. But with this particular IR, I think those settings sound really good. Another IR that I do have loaded up at the moment is this York Audio IR. This is a cab pack that just came out. It's based around a 60s Fender Deluxe with an Oxford speaker in it and I've really been enjoying this mix so it's a like 4119 which is essentially like a Coles condenser microphone and a Shure KSM 313 blend. Uh, this is what it sounds like with those settings. <laughs> Awesome sounding IR. Another thing that you can do in the cab block is turn the room parameter up. And this is pretty cool if you want to cop some of that like 50s roomy sort of sound. Uh, Axe Edit isn't updated just yet, but there is a new floor reflections parameter that you can access from the front panel with 2.05, which I really like. Uh, just with a bit of room. <laughs> Oh, that is such a cool sound. You can hear it's got all that sort of chewy compressed thing without being too fizzy, which I really, really like. So that's a 5F8 Tweed. Let's move on to the Tweed Baseman. Now, is this the most important amplifier ever made? Uh, debatable, but I would say if you like rock music, the old Fender Baseman is, yeah, it's probably the most important amp 
ever made if you like rock music because obviously Jim Marshall copied this and made the first Marshall JTM amps and you know the rest is history so this is what it sounds like at the stock settings I'm just going to stick with this York Audio IR for the time being there are plenty of basement IRs in there uh, including some 15 inch IRs which you know the original amp uh being a bass amplifier, you would have used bigger speakers. So 15s make sense there. This one sounds great on bass too, but let's just stick with that same impulse we had before with the room added to it. This is at the stock settings. <laughs> So pretty beefy. I would set this one the way you'd set a plexi. So bass low, kind of the way we set the Tweed Twin and just crank the mids and the treble. And this thing is a rock machine. <laughs> If you turn the input drive up as well, it really, again, this sort of has a bit of a plexi characteristic to it. It's a rock machine, but if you turn the input drive down, much like the Tweed Twin, beautiful, beautiful for clean stuff. And again, this is right on the edge of breakup, so it's great for use as a pedal platform. Let's try one of the factory... Uh, what, what did I say? Did I say 15s before? I think I said 15s. 15s are great, but there is this stock 4x10 bass guy cab in there. 10s being another popular choice for bass guitar. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, did Basements originally come with 410s or a 15? I can't remember. I think 410s is probably right. Uh, but let's try a 15 in there as well. I think I have a cab with that loaded. No, I'm going crazy. So that's with 10s. Totally different vibe. Let's search a 1 by 15 because I want to hear that. Ah, oh, man, look at me, can't even type. Great, okay, cool. Let's try this Pro Tweed. Let's go with a, just a 57. I think this sounds really cool with the basement. <laughs> And I've mostly been playing with ribbon mics here, so if you are using a dynamic IR, uh, basically turn the treble down and the bass up. So I will leave that for you guys to experiment with. Again, I'm going to swap back over to this Oxford speaker because I've really been digging that particular sound. Let's move on to another one of my absolute favorite amps in here, the Tweed Deluxe. So a real Fender Tweed Deluxe only has a tone control on it, and that is mapped to the treble control in the Axe FX3. So essentially, uh, we can forget the Magic 6 thing for this one if we want to be accurate, much like the Champ, but we do have input drive and treble, which maps to tone on the real amp. So let's have a listen to it. The IR that I'm using are these 2x12 Tweed Double 57RA uh, whatever they're based on. Actually, they're probably based on a twin. So let's try them with the Tweed Deluxe and let's go back to the Oxford and maybe 15. We'll just try all of them just to reinforce the idea that, you know, uh, speaker cabinet choice and microphone choice are so important to your tone when you're dialing these guys in. So I'll just go start at stock settings and I will dial it in. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there you go. That is how the tone control maps on there. Again, you know, for perfect clean sounds, just turn the input drive down. It's wonderful. And something I really enjoy about these Fender models is that grit that's sort of living in there. No matter how clean it is, you always get a little bit of that sort of uh, top end or high mid kind of grit in there, which for a long time, I sort of didn't get it, but now I do and I kind of can't live without it anymore. Okay, we've been going on for quite a while. We're almost down to the end with the Tweed amps. The last one is the Tweed Princeton, so Prince Tone 5F2. Again, 5F2 uh, refers to the model number in the original Fender catalog. Let's start with the Magic 6 settings on this guy, because I think that is certainly where this one sounds the best, probably more so than any of the other Fenders. Alrighty. I really should have done some Magic 6 on the other ones, but we can always go back and do that, or you can try it out at home and play along. So let's stick with this Oxford IR. Beautiful, just for consistency. And I'm going to turn the yeah, I've got the input drive at six. So Fender Magic 6 settings. I've been talking about these, waffling on about them a bit, but this is what it sounds like with the Princeton. I love this amp as well. All right, I, this has really awakened my love of Fender amp models, this whole video. So here we go. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, man, this I haven't played this telly for a while and it's definitely showing. So that's the Magic 6 settings on the Princeton. Again, let's just have a listen to it with a little less input drive and then I'll chuck a pedal in front of it because, yeah, this is like uh, ultimate pedal platform amp. So that's the Tweed Princeton. Let's chuck uh, using just the input boost. Let's go with a T808 mod this time and really turn the boost level up. It's really, really nice with a different boost, say the AC boost, you get this. And something a little bit different, we'll use the Fortin Grind model. This is interesting. Really, really bright. So uh, I would back the treble off if I was going to use a grind or probably just not use it at all and use a T808 mod. One last amp model is not based on a real Fender amp. This is like an idealized tweed kind of thing. It is the Super Tweed model which I, where is that guy? Let's bring it up. So this is a custom fractal audio model, super tweed. Uh, like I said, not based on a real amp, but if you just play around with it, you get this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
and that is an absolute rock machine. It kind of takes what the Tweed Twin does and uh, just takes it, you know, literally beyond 11. So the Super Tweed is really, really hip if you want an idolized version of that uh, without having to twist the knobs too much. So I like that about all the Fractal Audio Amp models. With a different IR, let's say we go with this uh, 2x12 59 Tweed. It does this. <laughs> And really quickly, let's try it with a 4x12, just because this sort of has a Marshall-y characteristic again. Uh, let's see. We'll search for TV cabs. Um, what am I looking for? Let's just do TV 57A. Sounds like this. And that definitely has a Marshall character about it. So that kind of wraps up our look at the... Fractal Audio Tweed Fender models. Um, there's so much more to explore. So I would really encourage you if you've watched all of the video and you've enjoyed it. A couple of things to stress. Obviously, IR choice is massively, massively important on this. You don't have to use Fender IRs with any of these. It's more a case of like, if you sort of want to replicate and be accurate with these amps, there's pretty much all the IRs you would need. Uh, mic choice obviously plays into that as well. So speaker and mic. And also the Magic 6 settings. If you can't get on with Fender amps, use the Magic 6 settings, bass 2, mid 3, treble 6, drive at 6. Any of the Fender models, it generally sounds pretty good. And we'll be revisiting that with the rest of the videos in the series. So I've been waffling on for nearly half an hour. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, another thing as well, you know, firmware 2.05 just came out. Uh, so go and grab that one and try it out. And what else? Uh, those York Audio Oxford Impulses, I think, sound really great as well. So I use them in my first video, uh, which sounded pretty sweet, I think. Next time, we're going to have a look at the brown face amps until then you guys stay excellent go and play with your axe effects and play a bunch of guitar and enjoy those fender amp models i'll see you all around real soon